Welcome to Remsoft's latest video tutorial. Today we'd like to introduce you to Integrator, a game-changing module for your existing Woodstock modeling platform. Chances are, if you haven't experienced the utility and power of Integrator, some of the following questions will resonate with you. Have you experienced input errors that resulted in forecasts, budget, or schedules that were inaccurate? Do you find model update time is too long to meet business demands? If you had to train a new analyst to run your model, could you effectively demonstrate your data input processes? Do you struggle to produce timely and meaningful reports for management? Are you wasting time with repetitive data entry from model updates and scenario building? If you can identify with any of these problems, please invest the next few minutes into this video. Learn how you can save time and leverage your existing business systems by putting the integrator module to work in your Woodstock platform. By integrating external data sets with Woodstock, new keywords and commands allow Integrator to pull in the data you need to build, format, and continually update your model. No more manual entries. Integrator is compatible with most common data sources, like Excel, SQL servers, and access databases, and facilitates templated model building, so entire models can be populated with data changes in one quick step. Here are some value statements we've heard from clients who are currently using the Integrator module. Integrator works to pull their business systems together, which leverages new problem-solving capabilities. It creates synergy, rather than the roadblocks they used to get when trying to get independent systems to work together. Rather than manually inputting their company data into Woodstock formats, they now use Integrator to create direct links between models and data sources. They now use a template with Integrator syntax as a master copy. It's linked to the sections of the model, which keeps them organized when adding new data, and provides a standard model structure. By setting up a data mart, the analysts and field foresters have common ground for passing data back and forth. They can now get new information into the model right away, so analysis happens as the data is collected. Their capacity for proactive planning and adaptive management is really improving. Okay, so let's take a look at how some of the key processes with Integrator work. To demonstrate the functionality, ease, and speed of Integrator, we decided to have a bit of fun. We've called a head-to-head -head modeling challenge between two familiar faces at Remsoft. Meet the competitors, our Chief Technology Officer, Hugo Finekis, and Kevin Nickel, our software developer who led the Integrator development project. To highlight the key features of Integrator, Hugo and Kevin will each complete three modeling challenges. Kevin will be using Integrator, and Hugo will be using a pre-Integrator syntax approach. We've equipped each of them with an identical, simple model. The only difference is that Kevin's model was designed from a template file using Integrator syntax, providing the functionality that will allow him to perform updates later on. Hugo's model is built with the exact same data and model themes as Kevin's, and although it was designed to facilitate updates and use data from additional land bases, it was built using traditional Woodstock syntax. The rest of the video will show the differences working with and without Integrator. Okay, time for the first challenge. After receiving the models, Hugo and Kevin were informed that there was an error in one of the yield tables, so they'll have to rebuild the yield section. In the following production, keep in mind that the screen captured videos have been sped up to three to five times their original speed to keep the demo short. Okay, let's get started. First, we'll watch Hugo. He starts by using the import yield curve function, selecting the table that needs to be changed. Now, a series of select and delete and copy and paste functions update the yield section. Although Hugo finishes in 41 seconds, imagine if there were multiple errors throughout the yield section that needed to be fixed. This could be a really tedious process. Now, we'll see Kevin easily complete the task in just 28 seconds, thanks to Integrator's simple update function. With Integrator, it doesn't matter if there is one error or 50. It reaches out to the linked data source and automatically syncs the model. It's fast, accurate, and complete. No need to fret about data errors. At the end of challenge one, that's one for Kevin. Let's go to challenge number two. Since this demo model was built purposefully simple, it's lacking meaningful outputs for reporting. We'd like to know the volume of logs, pulp, and veneer scheduled to be harvested from each of the three actions, clear cut, light thinning, and heavy thinning, as well as the total volumes for each product. Simple enough, right? 
So Yugo gets started here with a straightforward method of building outputs using copy-paste and word replace. We've all been through this process before. He's making good headway, but remember, there's three products and three actions, so there will be nine outputs to build. With that done, he also needs to build outputs for the three product volume totals. Hugo finishes in 4 minutes and 14 seconds, thinking he made pretty good time, but wary of the edge Kevin may have with the integrator. Using 4-H loop syntax and linking the model to an outside data set, Kevin is able to construct the 9 product outputs using just 3 lines of command. He then moves on to build the product total outputs. Kevin now updates the output section with his changes on the template. He completes the process in 2 minutes and 10 seconds. Let's update the scoreboard. Another win for Kevin and the integrator. Now, for the final challenge, which demonstrates the most significant advantage of using integrator, we want them to build another model with data from a recently purchased forest estate. The data structure is the same and the model sections will be set up like the original, so the themes, actions, transitions and outputs will all be the same. But they will have to rebuild the landscapes, and areas, and yield sections with the new attribute data. Let's see you go take off. Here is the map of the north property that was used in the original model. Yugo starts with the spatial setup and switches off the north property shapefile and onto the newly acquired south property shapefile. As you can see, the south property is broken into two management districts. Yugo builds the new area section from the shapefile, then repeats the task to build the landscape section. Now that the landscape section is rebuilt, Yugo needs to manually build all the aggregates to ensure that reporting from the output section is the same between the two models. Now, Yugo needs to import yield curves for the new land base. Because he's importing from one large growth and yield table file with no way to filter which specific curve he needs for this land base, Yugo brings the entire file into Woodstock. This approach forces him to add management districts from the northern land base into this model so that the yield table references line up with the themes. It's not perfect, but the fastest method for dealing with this model setup. You see Yugo going through numerous iterations of syntax trying to ensure the landscapes, areas, and yield sections all line up. A tedious task indeed. Yugo still needs to build theme-based outputs for the new management districts, then run and solve the model, finishing with creating new output graphics for the two new management districts. We're not going to show you that, because the whole process takes over 10 minutes. Let's see how Kevin takes advantage of working from a template with integrator syntax to build a new model. He opens the spatial setup and switches from the north to the south property. He opens the template file and changes all of the integrator reference syntax from north property to south property in order for the model to connect to the new external data tables. With the new data sources linked, Kevin clicks the integrator's update button, chooses all model sections, then updates. The entire model is rebuilt in 43 seconds. Now Kevin runs and solves the new model and builds two output graphs for inventory to ensure the results are isolated to just the two new management districts. Kevin completes the model build in just 1 minute and 48 seconds, winning the challenge and the competition. The final score is 3-0 for Kevin and the integrator. 
As you have seen, when working with Integrator, the key benefit is that model sections can be automatically updated and rebuilt. During the demo, you also saw how aggregates and theme-based outputs were preserved from the base model, and the yield section rebuilt automatically with a direct link to applicable new tables. As you have seen, tasks ranging from square one model builds to repetitive model updates can now be accomplished faster and more accurately by incorporating Remsoft Integrator into your modeling process. If this demo has piqued your interest and you'd like to know more, contact Remsoft to find out how Integrator can improve your Woodstock modeling platform.